Money cometh by being a server and a sower. A server and a sower. A server and a sower at the same time. Dominated in both of these places, combining them together as a as a as a weapon. Look at Isaiah chapter 60, and this is scripture for our time. You know, this is an end time. This is scripture for our time, time right now, right now. Um, Isaiah 60, verse 1. Look what it says. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. For thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Look at verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Look at that. The darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness to people. Look what it say, gross darkness. You know what gross mean? Like ill. Like how could they be so evil? How could they be so? This is gross darkness. Think about that. It says, and gross darkness, the people. That's disgusting darkness. Meaning like how could you be deceived? Now look at that. In this far time. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. The Lord shall arise upon thee in this in this time. Think about this. The Lord shall arise upon thee. And look what it says as a result. It says that after he rises upon thee, his glory shall be seen upon thee. But look at what's going on. There's gross darkness upon people. Meaning people love wickedness. They love evil. They love they love uh, wrong authority. They love wrong leadership, wrong uh, people in position. That We see in that right now. But look what it says right here. This is when the Lord shall arise upon thee. So it's good. Because if this don't happen, then the Lord can't arise upon thee. He uses that to arise upon thee. And then look what it says. His glory shall be seen upon thee. Now, this is a money cometh anointing, is a prosperity anointing, is a wealth transference mantle. It's money cometh. It's a prosperity power from the Lord, from heaven. Look what it says. And the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon thee. That means that people are going to see the blessing of God on you during such times. So, so saints... For children of the Lord, these are good times when such things occur because these times are sanctified by God to release wealth. It's a harvest time. See, saints, whenever darkness is there, there's a let there be light. And whenever there's a let there be light, there's a dominator coming forth from the dust of the earth. Oh, my goodness. That's that Adam anointing. That's that Adam office. And remember, Adam came on the scene doing what? In the midst of the darkness, sowing and reaping. What was Adam doing? Unlocking her villa. What was Adam doing? Living in plenty, experiencing the blessing, the pleasure of God. He was having so much pleasure. That's why God says it's not good for you to be alone because he was in a pleasure zone. Think about that. The pleasure was so high that God said, I'm going to let a woman come forth. <laughs> <laughs> let a woman come forth. You know, I didn't mean to do my hand like that, but I, I had to do it. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying. Let a woman come forth. And, and because he was in a pleasure zone. So <laughs> when the seed, when the seed and the harvest was moving, he was not even affected by the darkness. He was not affected by the darkness, dog, dog. He, the darkness was not touching him. You see what I'm saying? Because there was a pleasure zone. You see what I'm saying? So, <laughs> when we deal, huh? Huh? When we deal with this Isaiah 60, in the midst of great darkness on the earth and gross darkness, it says, we're seeing all type of pleasure and power moving forth. Because these times are actually reward systems for sowers. These times are reward system for sowers. Now look at Isaiah chapter 60, verse 11. Isaiah 60, 11. 
Look what it says here. It says, therefore, thy gate shall be open continually. Thy gate shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Look what it says right here. Therefore, thy gate shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. The wealth of the Gentiles, the riches of the Gentiles, the abundance of the Gentiles, the money of the Gentiles. It says, therefore, that gate shall be open continually. I receive open gates over my life right now. I receive gates of wealth open over my life right now. In the name of beautiful Jesus. Every wealth gate is open unto me right now, and I'm living out of wealth gates. I receive all of the benefits, provisions, and finances that come from wealth gates. I receive all of the blessings, all of the prosperity that come from wealth gates. Look, and I decree over my life that my gates are open continually. They will not be shut day nor night. Now, saints, when we deal with night, remember that we're dealing with satanic activity as well. It means that even when satanic activity has intensified, my gate's still not shut. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's saying that even when wickedness is moving in the earth, my gate's still not shut off of that wickedness. My gates are not dependent upon wicked men and evil men. It's dependent on me. And because the wealth gates have been made open through my sowing, through my through my, uh, my decision to honor my God, my decision to follow his system, the wealth gates stay open for me. Even if wicked rulership is there, my wealth gates still open for me because it's open not only in the day when the righteous are reigning, but it's open in the night when the wicked are reigning. It doesn't matter. Wherever, wherever we at in time, my gate's still open. It's open not seasonally, continually. Because if it was seasonally, it means that this is just for a season. But this is an era. This is an era of wealth. This eternal wealth, eternal money, eternal provision, eternal finances. Because I'm a sower. Times can't dictate my seed. My seed is dictating times. My goodness. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't matter what's happening on the earth. I am a sower that's happening on the earth. And while my sowing is happening, the wealth gate got to keep on staying open. You see what's happening here? The wealth gates is not submitted to what's going on in the system of this world. The wealth gates is submitted to the sower. As long as I keep on sowing, the wealth gate keep on opening. As long as I keep on sowing, the wealth gate just keep on opening and the finances keep on flowing unto me and the money just keep on coming to me. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I said the money just keep on coming to me because it's not dependent upon what's going on in this earth system. I'm in my own earth, my own system, my own world, my own government and my government ain't neat. My government give me stimulus checks back to back. My government not arguing about no stimulus check. My government got some stimulus checks that is ready to release to me. My government got money that is ready to release to me. My government got prosperity and provision that is ready to release to me. This my government, my government is supreme. Hey, hey, money coming to me now. This government is supreme. It don't matter if evil people seem to prosper in their evil deeds. My prosperity is set, is sure, and established. My prosperity will never vanish. My prosperity will never be lost. My prosperity will never be hindered. My prosperity won't be delayed. Just like Isaac, he sold his way out and reaped a hundredfold in the same year. I'm sowing my way out. I'm reaping a hundredfold in the same year. Prosperity. I'm waxing great. I'm getting higher. I'm getting further. I'm becoming more favorable, 
favored. I'm having more prosperity. I'm having more wealth. I'm having more riches, more provision, more open doors, more open gates, more open windows, more open abundance. This is my time. I'm not worried about what's happening in darkness. I am to let there be light. Saints, what I'm telling you, that when God saw great darkness on the earth in Genesis, he said, let there be light, and Adam came forth. Adam was a sower, but now we got great darkness on the earth. Now God is saying, let there be light. You are the Adam. You are the sower. You are the one that come to replenish the earth. You are the redeemer. You are the one that's being fruitful and multiplying. You are the one that's living in your garden of Eden. You are the one with access to her villa. You are the one releasing provision from on high. You are the one that got power over the serpent and the scorpion and all the powers of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall hurt you. You the one. You the one. See, the same way darkness was there. He said, let there be light. He's saying the same thing. Let there be light. And guess what? Who showed up? You. Huh? Huh? Welcome to the wealth world of God. And see, the judgment of a sower is wealth. Oh my goodness, you ain't hear me. I said the judgment of a sower is multiplication. The judgment of a seed sower is increase. The judgment of a seed sower is much. The judgment of a seed sower is promotion. The judgment of a seed sower is health in the body. The judgment of a seed sower is victory. The justice, the judgment of a seed sower is restoration and redemption and, and, and riches and releases and revival. Ah, it's revival. Ah, it's revival. That's the, that's, the, that's the whole harvest. See, the, the, the judgment. And the justice of a seed sower is harvest after harvest after harvest after ho 